this is not good. I think I lost a lot of money on while trying to make a Bitcoin payment. So we'll see what happens. Hey, have you ever wanted to go to Japan and spend cryptocurrency there? Well, I did and I tried my best. So in this video, we're going over five ways to spend crypto in Japan. Welcome. The Coinbase debit card. Now this is only available to US residents and you can load up your Coinbase account with USDC. And if you have the Coinbase debit card, which is free to apply for, you can withdraw from any ATM that accepts it. So I loaded up my Coinbase account with some USDC and I was able to withdraw that for Japanese yen at a Japanese ATM. Now this was very convenient and I didn't find any locations where I wasn't able to use my ATM card. So if you want cash in another country, Country, you can actually load up USDC, a stablecoin cryptocurrency, into your Coinbase account and withdraw it anywhere in the world. So I just got out of Big Camera. I was able to buy some stuff with Bitcoin and it costs less than a dollar and the transfer took seconds. So even if you're using the original Bitcoin network, it can be very fast and it's not dubbed or anything. I was actually talking, so but still wearing a mask outside and it's cold, so it does help. Big Camera is one of the biggest electronic store chains in Japan and they're located everywhere. So if you ever go to Japan, you can actually pay using Bitcoin. And I don't know if this happens all year round, but if you pay with Bitcoin, at least while I was there, you got 5% off your purchase. Now there are some limitations to paying with Bitcoin at Big Camera. They have a purchase limit of 100,000 yen. If you try to pay more than 100,000 yen worth of Bitcoin, that transaction is going to run into an error. They will still accept your Bitcoin and they will hold it for a long time as they try to process your refund. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. This is not good. I think I lost a lot of money on while trying to make a Bitcoin payment. So we'll see what happens. And since I did run into this issue, the clerks had no idea how to resolve it. They weren't familiar with it. They were calling customer support and I was there for another hour. And all the payments go through Bitflyer. Bitflyer is a cryptocurrency exchange that is used in Europe and in Japan. But to pay with Bitcoin, you can pay from any wallet. You do not need to have a Bitflyer account to pay with a Bitcoin at Bic Camera. That was a lot of bees. All right. And another thing, when paying with Bitcoin or certain credit cards, they gave 5% off your total transaction and 10% off if you're not from Japan. You just have to bring your passport and it's tax free. So that's 15% off and the yen isn't doing well. So it is a really good time to spend some crypto or any other kind of funds in Japan. Rakuten Wallet. Now this only applies to people residing in Japan. You don't need to be a Japanese national to use Rakuten Wallet, but you do need to be a Japanese resident because you need an address and you need a phone number. Now I tried registering with Rakuten Wallet and that's how I found out you need the requirements of a phone number and an address. But if you can set up Rakuten Wallet, you can load your account with Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and Ethereum. Now, once you have cryptocurrency loaded onto your account, you can use Rakuten Pay at thousands of different stores across Japan. And this includes convenience stores, fast food restaurants, and some small markets. Now that's just an example, but a lot of different places accept Rakuten Pay. So if you can use Rakuten Wallet, you can spend cryptocurrency all over Japan. Now there are some limitations if you use Rakuten Wallet. The minimum purchase has to be 1,000 yen, and the maximum per month you can spend using Rakuten Wallet with cryptocurrency is 100 thousand yen. Now that is on a monthly basis and uh, I would like to try this out in the future if they open this up to international accounts or if Rakuten Wallet goes global. Hundi 
PundiX. Right now, I'm outside Cafe Triomphe. They accept cryptocurrency through PundiX, so you can spend Bitcoin, USDT, Ethereum, and a handful of other cryptocurrencies directly to your phone to pay for your meal. Now, here's how the Xpost device works. It is a point of sale device that merchants can sign up for, that they have to purchase, and that allows them to accept cryptocurrency for whatever they may be selling. Now, whenever a merchant is paid in cryptocurrency, that is converted to a stable coin immediately, so they don't take on the risk and volatility of cryptocurrency. Because merchants need to be more responsible than crypto investing DGENs, especially in 2022 when things, things weren't great. Travala. With Travala, you can book typical travel experiences, activities, hotels, and flights using cryptocurrency. Now, I didn't use it for my trip to Japan because it's expensive. I'd rather pay taxes and then cash out my crypto through the usual methods than use Travala. So let's take a look. This hotel is called Citadine Central Shinjuku, Tokyo for $134 for the night. And that is on Wednesday, January 11, 2023. So if we try booking the hotel, you can see the total price is going to be $134. But the problem with Travala is you don't get the best price. Now, Travala does have a best price guarantee where you can match to a lower price, but it is a hassle and there is a chance of them not approving that claim. So let's look at the price of the exact same hotel on another website. This is Agoda. We're looking at the Citadine Central Shinjuku, Tokyo for the exact same night on January 11. And you can see the price per night is $94. So if we try booking the hotel, Hotel, you can see that the all-in price is actually $113, which is $21 per night cheaper than Travala. So Travala has a markup of about 20% when it came to this specific example. And before booking on Travala, I would recommend checking another website to make sure you're getting your full value. I did not find any example where Travala was cheaper than other sources. So if you are going to use Travala, it is nice that you can spend your cryptocurrency, but it is not nice getting a more expensive rate. So if you decide to use cryptocurrency to make your bookings through Travala, make sure to take advantage of their best price guarantee. And you can find that at the bottom of their website right here, price guarantee. And you can see best price guarantee, how it works to ensure you always receive the best price. We will match or beat any competitor's price. If you book a stay or an activity on Travala.com and find a cheaper price on another website, you can claim a refund for the difference up to 24 hours before your check-in date at the property or the start of the time of the activity. So you do have a lot of time to submit your best price guarantee to make sure you get the best rate. But I don't like submitting these claims because there is a chance that they will reject it and you end up paying more while also having to do more work. So in the future, I would like to see Travala match the actual best prices. Otherwise, it's going to make people not want to spend their crypto when there are alternatives, even though they have more steps, because you're not going to want to spend your crypto if you're not getting the best value. If you are paying a premium, you might as well withdraw that crypto and pay taxes on it, depending on where you are sometimes you're in a place with no taxes so that's cool too now if you want to see the value of your cryptocurrency go up you want to be using it you want to use whatever utility it has and you want to make sure other merchants or vendors or services use it too so for bitcoin to go up in value it needs to actually be useful in many different places and i want to see that happen too so whenever i go out and if i can use bitcoin i'm going to make that happen i hope you do too let me know in the comments if there's places that i missed because there isn't a directory of places that accept bitcoin in japan and other countries so i'm trying to find that out i want to travel just using bitcoin and if you can help make that happen by giving me a list of places that do that that would be awesome and I can make some content out of that. I don't know. Well, yeah, if this video was helpful, as always, feel free to hit that like button. Follow me on the social media. Links are in the description. And with that, I hope you got your full value for today.